very good Irish morning to get soaked on the ring of Kerry. Absolutely, but we're full of cheer. <laughs> what do we expect? We'll come to Ireland. Yeah, it's 10.32 now. Nice early start. The Kapani National yeah, Park. Yeah, so we're going to start. Well, it's the start of the official Ring of Kerry. It's been raining all morning. I actually woke up quite early and was planning to get ready. But I saw the rain <laughs> and I thought, eh, what's the point? <laughs> it's not too bad though, although it's wet all the time. It's not like it's hammering down all day every day, is it? We've not been soaked through once or anything like that. All the waterproofs are working fine. Yeah, still full of iris cheer. This is the famous goat of this town. The story was that a few hundred years ago it came down from the mountains to save them. So now, 5th day of August, they have a celebration and some sort of fair uh, going on for two, three days. Interesting yeah. story about a goat that saved the town, the little village. Trust the Irish to um, come up with an excuse like that to have a party. <laughs> oh, there's nothing on the 5th of August, you know. Let's make up a story about the goat. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> My dream espresso. That looks really nice in there actually. Yes. Oh, nice. Hello. We're going to get a coffee and the kitchen is closed but the lovely lady said she will make us um, ham and cheese sandwich so that'll be good. Right, it's Goldens of Cows, gift shop, coffee, espresso, petrol as well if you need it. That's a nice little stop actually, out of one of the best coffees you've had, isn't it?
entire cut, the green middle, and I sort of started pulling it and pulling it inside, and I kind of let it in, but not fighting it. I hit the side and came out straight. Yeah, so what happened with my mad slide is that, you know, the mad was slowly putting me, pulling me in and I was trying to stay. The left side of the road was quite ugly. And I know you're not supposed to go through the middle. But anyway, I didn't want to fight the bike. Came out of it pretty alright. And as we were just talking, there's not enough time to actually make a decision what to do. So the best thing is, just stay still, not panic, don't grab the front brake and then have a four seconds pose after it and um, it's fine. But I was I was actually 100% fully prepared to come off on that um, village road, 100%. You did the right thing there, like you say, you didn't panic, you didn't grab the brake. If you grab that front brake, you're definitely off. Yeah. It was actually all of these sick, small, all of these small moments are what builds up to gaining your experience with riding. Uh, yeah. It's these things that make you a better rider over time. This is it, our day is finished. We are in our log cabin. Would you call it a log cabin? I would, yeah. Yeah, it is quite nice. Uh, the host was very chatty and lovely. Not they understand much of what he's saying, but he's a character. Yeah, I mean, most of it we could understand. Yeah. I could, at least. So, yeah, we went out to look for something to eat, but we couldn't find anything authentic and Irish, so we just decided little sandwiches and things would do us for tonight. Can't go wrong with Liddell. No. Get everything you need there. And we can, yeah. like you say, make a packed lunch for tomorrow because yeah. we're going to be in the middle of nowhere tomorrow. Yeah, well, mm. well tomorrow we just want to we just wanna ride to mm. Wickler Mountains. So as little stops as possible, that would be the best. Um, so, yeah, just crack on, really, from the morning. My aim is to be on the bike by 8 a.m. We'll see how's that going to work out. <laughs> so most important about the cabin is that we are in a country the bikes have secured parking it's very quiet so can have a good yeah. night's sleep yeah we don't sleep well if we know that you're in a, a hotel or a pub car park or something and your bikes are out of sight down out of the way and there's other people around so we like to try to find someone that's just in a stick somewhere and you know your bike's going to be safe and a bit of peace of mind really isn't it yeah mm. all right then that's it for today and we'll see you tomorrow in on the way to Wickler Mountains.